we will show the options for seeing live data within a sequential function chart, SFC, using test mode. In order to use test mode in an SFC from the plant view, we will select the project called PROJ00 and expand it because it contains the CPU where the SFC resides. Next, we'll expand Johnson and Reactors. Selecting the hierarchy folder R310 will reveal our target sequential function chart for this example. SFC R310 to the right, then right click R310 and select Open Object to open this chart. The sequential function chart R310 is now open in the sequential function chart editor. Next, we will click on the debug toolbar to turn test mode on by selecting the test mode menu choice. Or we can click the test mode on off switch icon on the top toolbar. This puts the sequential function chart into test mode with live data. A dark green step with a check next to it indicates that the step has completed execution. In test mode, a control window appears allowing you to change the auto manual mode and control the execution of the sequential function chart in manual mode. You can zoom in and out and scroll to make it easier to see. In manual mode, the sequential function chart can be started. Other control modes such as hold, resume, abort, complete, stop, restart, reset, and error handling can be triggered from the test mode control window. Clicking the Start button in the manual mode starts the execution of the sequential function chart. A bright green step with an arrow next to it indicates which step is currently being executed. Right-clicking the current active step and selecting Object Properties opens that step's properties. Selecting the Processing tab, which is identified in this example as a Configured tab by the blue fill, will show the configured step, including live values, highlighted in yellow, from the CPU, the addresses that will be written to, and the value that will be written. The value to be written can be changed during test mode. Right-clicking the current active transition, and selecting Object Properties opens that transition's properties. The Current Condition tab will show the live value being read, highlighted in yellow, the addresses being read from, the comparison formula being used, and the value being compared against. To the far right, the condition of each line, group, and entry transition can be seen. A green line will indicate if the and or conditions are satisfied. The value being compared against can be changed during test mode. At the bottom, there are arrows for navigating to any transition.